Hello everyone. So uh, since the last video, loads have changed um, over here in England, but I'll just give you a little rundown of how everything's been for me. So um, first of all, I got back in training in October after having a bit of time off um, through just feeling fatigued and uh, not that great to be honest. So training was going all right initially. Um, managed to get some good sessions in. Swimming was going well. And then we got to November and uh, we had a lockdown back in England. So all the pools shut, four weeks out the water, uh, running and cycling was all that was on the cards. And then December, I went to Lanzarote, got some really good swim training in. I'd been doing a lot of body, upper body uh, strength stuff in the, in, during the lockdown in November. And I think that really helped when I got back in the water in Lanzarote back in December. And I was seeing some good gains in the pool. Swim was going well, as I say. And after three weeks in the pool, I was hitting some PBs, like all time PBs. So I couldn't have expected any more. Back in the UK, four days later, we get put into a lockdown in this area again. So unfortunately the pools were shut. And um, now we're in 2021 and uh, looking ahead to next year. And unfortunately now the whole country has just been put into a lockdown. So I'm at the track. Um, well, actually just before we got put into a lockdown and while I was in Lanzarote, I actually developed a run injury. So I couldn't run for quite a while, for about six weeks, seven weeks. But because I was able to swim in Lanzarote and I was getting a lot of cycling, it was, uh, it was okay. And uh, I'm back running now, I've been back about 10 days and uh, to be fair I haven't lost too much I'm actually really surprised with how the run's been and uh, I've had this injury before and uh, it's uh, quite a frustrating one it's either you can't run at all no matter what the pace is or you can run and you don't get any pain and uh, I'm not getting any pain now I'm fine I'm at the track actually in Norwich um, the Henderson track and um, gonna get a session in here today and uh, hopefully after today this will be my last session in the UK on the track and then Fingers crossed, I'll be uh, able to fly uh, to Dubai on Thursday and get some training in there, get back in the pool. There should be a few of us uh, that are going out there. And uh, got a fancy new GoPro now, so hopefully I'll be able to get some good videos out, um, or regular videos, that's the plan anyway. So getting this one out now, um, last, se last decent session in the UK, and then I'll uh, get some regular stuff out in Dubai with some of the other triathletes, and uh, you can follow my uh, prep for the 2021 season. Uh, really going to kickstart it out there, and looking forward to getting some warm weather. It's freezing here, three and a half degrees. It's wet, typical British winter, and add a lockdown into it. It's uh, it's not the happiest place to be, but we're still getting the work done. Anyway, now going to head off for the warm up. So I'll see you in a little bit. Turn, 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 turn it up. You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, not bad. I'm just gonna do a few more laps. Yeah. How far have you done? Uh, okay. so, cool. I'm raring to go. Yeah, I've got different strides, like when you... He's doing the set. Cool. Yeah. Are you ready for the set? Are you joining us? Are you joining us? Pardon? Are you joining us? No. Aren't you? No. I thought you were gonna show us how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just... I'm just sort of starting running again, so I'm just doing a right. little workout on Garmin. All right. Well, I've done two lots of yoga already. This well, morning. Josh is looking for a pacemaker today, as is long it? as you don't go off too hard for him. <laughs> yeah, <that> is, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just getting the uh, faster trainers on to start the session. So the session today is three sets of 800 meters, 30 seconds recovery, 600, 30 seconds recovery, 400, 30 again. 200 to finish off and then loads of recovery like four or five minutes really easy but the reps you've got to hit pretty hard so you're breathing really hard vo2 max stuff it's right up your street in it ross yeah i love a bit of speed work mate love it loves it <laughs> he fucking loves it <laughs> so now starting the last set been holding around 73 seconds on average for the reps maybe a bit quicker because of the 200 uh, i think i did 228 for the last one 150 for the six uh, and uh, 72, 73 for the four and then 32 for the 200. First session in literally two months, so not too bad, but put this on, this bad boy for the last set. 
and you can see what it looks like josh is flying he's probably averaging sub 70 seconds which on the cinder track is rapid all right so when he's shut that down this is when he means business last set the best set yeah all right then we'll go at the same time then five minutes before. still over there go on that's at least a minute <laughs> right so the session's done first track session in like probably two months so really pleased to get it under the belt and uh, times were way better than expected um hit about 228 229s for the 800s the 600s were about 150 to 152 but that included two headwind sections um, we say 600, but it's just a rough guess because it's on a cinder track, so there's no line. So it, I think the 600 was a bit longer, and the 200 was a bit shorter than 200. But anyway, there are times what we hit. The 400s were between 71, 73, and uh, the 200s around 32 seconds. But it's all off short recovery all these, so only 30 seconds between the efforts. So um, yeah, you don't get much time to get your breath back. But pleased to get the first session under the belt, and definitely uh, something to, to work on going forward. Hopefully um, the next video where you see me, I'll be uh, abroad um, carrying on my training there so where I can get to some facilities because um, in England at the moment all the pools are shut, the gyms are shut so it's been really hard to train and um, I'm hoping to go away on Thursday and uh, carry on my preparation for the 2021, 2021 season um, somewhere a bit warmer and with the facilities that will enable me to train how I need to to compete at the highest level so stay tuned and uh, the next video might be somewhere warm, fingers crossed. Hope you liked the video guys and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to see uh, more videos when they first come out and to uh, follow my journey towards this, this season and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see lots more racing videos this year and you can see how my training goes. Catch you on the other side, bye.